Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Dominic Burgess about the limited series Doctor Death, which is going to be available on Peacock. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you for doing this. Hi, no, thank you for having me. What a delight! It's it's exciting. I mean, we're going to get into the project, but for you specifically, I mean, storytelling and acting. Did that did that happen at a young age for you in terms of? interest with that stuff or did it happen later on what's your story with that getting into that dominic yeah gosh i mean i i think i was raised on uh american television uh i'm i'm british and i was raised on you know star trek and x files and buffy and twin peaks and so that that sort of programming was really informative for me wanting to come and work in america and then i you know did sort of the i guess what you call the traditional journey for, for an actor in England. I went to drama school for three years and then uh, yeah. I, I worked towards getting my visa so that I could come and work here. And then next was the green card process. And I, I just became an American citizen three months ago. Um, so wow. this is this is home now. This is it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's interesting because I'm wondering because the people that look at a lot of the projects you've been in, it's very different. There's like you've been in comedies, drama, some horror as well. Like it's a lot. Were you hoping that was going to be a thing? Was that a goal or did it kind of just happen? Uh, no. Um, I love it, though. I'm yeah. so glad that I, I've not been pigeonholed in in any way. There were, I think there was a moment where um, things were starting to, to tip in the scales and everything I was doing was comedy. And I spoke to, to my manager, uh, who is wonderful, uh, Camilla. I've been with her for 14 years. And... You know, I said, "Hey, uh, let's let's shift our focus a little bit and and target some drama just to, to balance things out." Um, but I've been I've been so lucky in in terms of the roles that I've got, transcending genres and tones and uh, prosthetic makeup and period pieces, and it, it's run the whole yeah, gender, which I guess is is the actor's dream. Oh, absolutely! Like, no, it's 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 so many of them, and like it's it's really cool when when you see that because one, it means that it's good for you because you get you get to work, right? Like you're yeah. Cool. <laughs> but I always thought that was kind of a refreshing thing, where obviously there's some people that like enjoy like a certain genre or everything, but like mm-hmm. getting a kind of slice of a bunch of different kind of pies is pretty cool too. Oh, absolutely! So much, and I, I've been so fortunate um with with the projects that i've been able to to work on as well i mean to to do star trek was you know i could <laughs> plant a flag and be like i'm done i'm retired thanks so much for your time everybody bye <laughs> yeah um, absolutely so i mean there are other things that i i, I want to do but uh yeah and it was so nice to do dr death uh mm-hmm. because again it wasn't a role that i had ever really had a chance to do before that was sort of uh contemporary and very grounded and you know starts off in the series as written as as something that is bringing a little bit of of levity to uh, a show that can be very dark and then sort of you know it it takes a turn a few episodes in and I, I really got to to sort of flex some some serious muscles which I, I haven't done for for a little while so yeah it, it was a real challenge and, and a lot of fun to do that too so yeah, so Dr. Death, let's talk about that. Limited series. I mean, it's it's interesting because people know the story and people, you know, it's it's this is like based on something that that happened, you know? Yeah. Um, people know the story. So what's your mindset when you go work on a project like this that not only is a very good serious and tough subject, but mm-hmm. it's also based on like true like something that actually happened. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I listened to the podcast yep. and I know, you know, when when the podcast first came out, that that Jerry, the the guy that I play, was a little reticent about speaking out about Christopher Dunch. That he still considered him a, a friend, and so, you know, in in that regard, I, I didn't want to reach out or probe or push because he he'd been through so much personally. Um, but but my outlook for Jerry was, you know, he was this big 
gregarious, friendly, fun, tactile guy who who loved people and he was so loyal. He loved his friends and he was so loyal to, to Christopher Dunch. And, I, you know, I think Christopher Dunch used him and, and manipulated him this, the same way. You know, he, he had this swagger about him that people trusted him. People came to, to consultations with him and they sat down and they trusted their health and their life in his hands. And, you know, Jerry, Jerry did the same thing, but, but he was there alongside him the whole way, you know, driving him and supporting him in his business. And yeah, it's, it's, it's so tragic what, what happened to him. Um, and then, you know, during the course of, of filming the, the real Jerry Summers passed away this February. And so, you know, bring, you know, must be very emo- like that. Yeah. Yeah. Really, <laughs> really tough. I, I know that he did a, a follow-up interview last year for the podcast where he did open up uh, yeah. a little bit more. Um, and so wh- it, whether we'd have ever reached the point of, of reaching out to each other, I, I'm not sure, but yeah, in, in my mindset, it was, was about how friendly and trusting and, and loyal he was. That's, you know, something that, that I could latch onto for him. Absolutely. That you, 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 so going in, into your kind of experiences with the podcast, so you kind of gave us an idea of who you play and everything. But for people that maybe don't know about Dr. Death and the podcast and what happened, can you tell us what we can expect without any spoilers about the limited series on Peacock, Dominic? Sure. Yeah. It's uh, as you mentioned. It's uh, it's based off a, a true story. Christopher Dunch, who was operating, he was a spinal surgeon, and he was operating on patients, and a lot of them came out from their procedures in much worse condition than they went in. Whether it was severed nerves or damaged muscle, and uh, horribly um, fatalities too. Uh, and I played Jerry Summers, who is Christopher Dunch's best friend and he helped mm-hmm. him set up a business and he was sort of his, his right-hand man for a while. And then, you know, puts, puts his health on the line by, by letting Christopher Dunch operate on him too. And it's, you know, I, I guess I would describe it, you know, how you hear that jaws stopped people from going into the ocean after it was released. I, yeah. I feel like this is something that, would give people pause before going to get any kind of surgery to, you know, say, whoa, hold on. Remember that Dr. Death show? Let's go and get a second opinion and a third opinion and fourth and fifth. And let's really, let's really cover our bases. When did you notice that content was becoming like that more where there was like, after you watch it, you're not kind of going to bed being like, whoa, that was intense. It's more like, whoa, we got to think about certain things. Cause I feel like there's been kind of a shift in content even uh-huh. with TV shows where it wasn't just kind of something you watch or talk about a little bit, ooh, suspense uh-huh. or ooh, drama, but now there's more like, I bet I'm going to think about that or I'm going to think about what I do next. Like, have you, do you know where I'm, where I'm going with that a yeah. little bit? Um, I, I think there's been a real shift um, in terms of, you know, these podcasts that are based on true crime or if, events that, that really happened. I, uh, tore through uh, the act on Hulu, um, which was based on uh, a true story and Escape from Danamora that I, I tore through that, yeah, the, there's a lot of these shows now. And I think Patrick McManus, that the showrunner, is now moving on to showrun another true story um, about a girl who convinced her boyfriend to commit suicide by by text message. Um so there is a lot of these, a rise of, of these shows, but I, I find it fascinating because I think, especially with these limited series, you, you really get an opportunity to go deeper into the story that, that you might not in a, a 90 minute documentary or a, a feature film. When you, when you have eight, nine, 10 episodes, you, you can really explore stories from, from multiple points of yeah. view. Um, that's what's great about Dr. Death too. You know, you you follow Christopher Dunch in his life and, and how he progressed into becoming a surgeon and you follow Jerry and you follow 
other patients that have been hurt by him. And then the, the flip side is you have these other doctors that are going after him to try and bring him down. And so you, you, you really see things from a, from a multifaceted point of view, which I, I really enjoy. What were like learning experiences for yourself working on this? I mean, you're obviously playing a character that's based on someone, uh, a real life, like re you're, ba you're playing someone that existed, right? Yeah. Um, so what, what's it like preparing in regard to, to that aspect of it? Like, obviously it's a, it's a drama, it's intense, but I'm mm -hmm. very curious about the prepping, playing someone who actually existed. Yeah. Um, for, for me, it was listening to the podcast, listening to the way yeah. that he he talked. I wasn't able to find a lot of video footage of him or the way that he moved. But in talking with Patrick and listening to the podcast and hearing about who he was and how friendly he was, and he was he was sort of an open book. Yeah, and so that in, that informed the way that he moved and the way that he spoke. Um, and, and then the rest, I think, um, we just spoke about, which was him coming from uh, a, a place of loyalty for, for Christopher Dunch. Um, you know, I, I would never want to presume to, to know what, what Jerry was thinking at the time or, or what his experiences were, but, but I could latch on to how loyal he was to Chris Dunch and how much he loved him and he loved people and being around people. And, um, he, he loved life. And even, even after the fact, I, I followed him on, on social media yeah. and, you know, he'd been through this terrible experience, but he was still so jovial and he would post videos with his dog Stella and his care team and he loved sports and he was upbeat and so i think for me those were the those were the angles that that interested me this this larger than life fun lovable guy who who just got mixed up with the the wrong person i know it it's 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 one of those things too where i think people are going to get the seat on peacock and they're going to see all the performances and I think people are going to just have that feeling that what, like, what, like this, this, this happened. This is yeah. based on something that happened. But like, you answered it so great, Dominic, in terms of like preparation and everything. Because I always find, I mean, you know more than me because like this is what you do, like storytelling and acting and self tapes and everything, right? But I always find that that seems to be like the most, the hardest looking thing is like like biopics, like having to play someone mm -hmm. like who. That, that that to me seems like it's very difficult, like as an actor. Yeah, um, especially um, I played Victor Buono in a, a show called Fuge yep. um, a, a couple of years ago, and that was a very different experience because there, there was so much video footage of Victor Buono. I knew him from the original Batman series, and yeah. he did all these films and. Uh, his nephew reached out to me once he knew that I was going to be playing him. He shared photos and stories about him. Yeah. Uh, so that was a very different process than this, which mm -hmm. was much more uh, insular. And 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 coming from, n not that I, I didn't respect um, the, the process with Victor Buono, but um, there, there was more room to be jovial and upbeat and open and, and ask questions. And, and with this... You know, the, I, I think because of what the patients had been through and what Jerry had been through, you have to approach it with, you know, respect and honoring what, what he, he'd been through. Um, even though he brings levity to, to the first part of the story, you know, I, I never wanted Jerry to be played as the joke or the butt of, of any kind of joke. So that was really important to me. Um, yeah. But you know, still, still giving him this large than life uh, joy for for people. I think for sure, Dominic. I want to thank you so much for coming on Pop Turnative. I really appreciate it. Of course, thank you so much for for having me, Pete. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Doctor Death limited series Peacock. They're gonna be able to watch it, and uh, really great cast. We didn't talk about it a little bit, but just like shout out to the cast and crew, like amazing. 
it's 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 awesome. They're gonna it they're gonna be in for a treat in terms of you know who's in it and yeah. all the drama. Uh, but it's where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? Yeah, I am at uh, Dominic Burgess on mm-hmm. Twitter and mm-hmm. on Instagram. I'm Dominic Burgess one because someone else got there first. <laughs> um, and there's a whole lot of cat content. Uh, if you like cats. <laughs> this is the place to be. There's always a struggle too, where someone had to put like an underscore because I it was know. taken. <laughs> oh boy! And and so many times, uh, I, I, the the person that has the Dominic Burgess has reached out and been like, "This is for you," and, and they'll forward messages uh, to me, which is very nice. <laughs> I didn't that's think nice. about that. That's interesting too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this has been Pop Turn at youtube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. You're going to be able to catch Dominic Burgess in Dr. Death, the limited series, which is coming to Peacock. Until next time, this is Dominic and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.